Hey everybody, has to the copy rock about the let's play Transformers Dark of the Moon. So last time we played as Mirage and we were met with Bumblebee, and then we were going to continue on our way, and then we rescued Sideswipe from the Decepticons, and he told us that the Decepticons were launching some kind of ship, and so we decided to stop see if we can stop the launch. But you know Starscream got in our way, and so we fought against him, but unfortunately we didn't stop the ship from launching into orbit. And so you got a bunch of trying to figure out where the ship was heading, but then Megatron told Sunwave to leave the satellite that he was, you know, hijacked. And because, you know, Megatron realized the Autobots were listening to Decepticon's communications. And so now he sent Soundwave, which we are playing as, to this hidden base over here and collect some information. Information that could jeopardize Megatron's plans. And yeah, so... This time we're playing as the Decepticons at the Autobots, which is which means we're switching sides now. So this time we're playing as the bad guys. Interesting twist. Or not interesting twist, but But hey, you know, different sides. It's, you know, it's fun. Megatron, I have discovered a human communications device. Scan it! I must know everything. Alright then. Let's see what ha got here. Channel sixteen sixteen. We dug deep into the mountain today. The vault will be building for the supercomputer. Firewall encountered. Data transfer terminated. What? Autobots. Okay, so here's something that's kind of a bit bothering me about this game that doesn't make sense. So, we play as the Autobots, we fight against Decepticons, which, you know, makes sense because, you know, Megatron is an army. But in, in this game, we play as Decepticons, and it seems that the Autobots have their own soldiers as well. Now, in the movies, the Autobots never had soldiers. Sure, they had, you know, different characters from the Autobots' side, but no, like, soldiers, like, grunts. Not like the Decepticons did in the movies. So, why these soldiers are here now? Doesn't make sense. Considering, you know, this game takes place between Revenge of the Fallen and Dark of the Moon. It just doesn't make sense. Now, story-wise, that doesn't make sense, but gameplay-wise, I guess kind of makes sense because if you're a Decepticon, you need to fight something, you know. So it does make sense for a gameplay standpoint, but for a story-wise, not really. It's just one complaint I have. Human technology. These fences are using modified harmonic frequencies to create a solid barrier. I can use my ultrasonics to alter the frequency so it destroys itself. Like this. So Soundwave's abilities has two, so like Ultrasonics has like this huge wave, but he also has this stun that he goes to use to stun enemies. In case we're, you know, surrounding, there's too many. Soundwave, hostiles approaching. Bring it. Aw, what's wrong? Now, the Autobot soldiers are kind of similar to the Decepticon soldiers, but there are some differences. For example, is this Autobot here? Well, this guy is like a melee, you know, Autobot. Which I'm pretty sure the Decepticons never had. So that's one difference between the Autobots and the Decepticon soldiers. But yes, there are still Rocket, you know, Autobot soldiers. There's also the Big Turret. Autobot soldiers. But yeah, that's only one difference between, you know, Autobots and Decepticons. Ah. 
Alright, let's see what we got. Channel 102. This facility is impenetrable from the outside. A person on the inside would have to open the door. Firewall encountered. Data transfer terminated. Ah, more artifact fools. <laughs> I like Sawway's, you know, quotes, you know, my accuracy is 100% or that robot's for chance of survival is 0%. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys something. So I also want to tell you guys, Happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah, so, I don't know, maybe I should have said at the beginning of the video, but yeah. Just want to wish you guys a very happy Halloween, and why am I wishing happy Halloween? Well, the thing is though, the time of this recording here, Halloween starts tomorrow. And so by the time I upload this video, it's going to be Halloween. You know, hence why I said happy Halloween to you guys. You know, kind of makes me wish I could have played a scary game for you guys since it's Halloween tomorrow, but... Oh, is that a bet? Anyway, as I was saying, that, you know, since it's Halloween, it could... You know, I wish I could play a scary game for you guys for Halloween tomorrow, but... Unfortunately, I don't think I can. I'm just gonna stick with Transformers Dark of the Moon. Which is not a scary Halloween game. Doesn't make sense, but... Oh well, it is what it is. So, I wanna ask you guys something. So, for Halloween tomorrow, maybe post in the comment section uh, what you guys are gonna be for Halloween. Let me know what your costumes are gonna be, because I'm really interested. And also, if you're going trick-or-treating or not. Now, me personally, I'm not going trick-or-treating. You know, some people might say for excuse, you know, you're too old for trick-or-treating. Trick-or-treating's for kids. Well, you know what? Trick-or-treating could be for adults too, you know? Not just for kids. But unfortunately for this year, I'm not going to go trick-or-treating. Now, I may give out some candy to kids, or I may not. I'm still going to think about it. Still for debate. Ah, stupid loading screen. But yeah, like I said, let me know in the comment section of what you're going to be for Halloween and if you're going to trick or treat or not. Because I'm quite interested. Oh man, this is such a nice island. Makes you wish you can go to this place for a vacation. I mean, it would be a nice resort if it wasn't for the fact that this is a secret military base with Autobot soldiers patrolling the island. And who else, who knows what else they have. Coast is clear for now. But as soon as we interact with this, Autobot reinforcements are coming. Channel 630. I've moved all of the moon landing data tallied by Sector 7 and any references of EV2. We've set up the clean room. Only people with. Oh. Seems like we found what we're looking for. Oh, yep, like I said, big turret autobot. Or autobot with a big turret, whatever you want to call it. Here, have a grenade! And 
down you go. Whoa, okay. <laughs> His body weirdly moved away when he died. Oh god, there's lava. Okay, never mind. I take that back where I said earlier. This is not a great vacation resort. Uh uh. Not when there's like freaking lava everywhere. Whoa. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to speed boost this. Go, 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 go. Yes, made it. Oh, easy now. Here we go. <clears throat> Whoops, did not mean to use that. What? How are you guys surviving? You're in lava. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> Ow! Hey! Stop that! Oh! Easy! Don't touch the lava! Ah! ah no! No, no, no! Stay away from the lava! Doesn't matter anymore, you're dead. I can't move forward unless this boulder moves or melts. That's fine, too. Got me through. Ah, finally, we're back in the jungle. Oops. Screw your little... I don't know what these things are. Those guard railings that they put for construction. Forget what they're so called. We made to the base. It's got these stupid turrets here. This nest facility is crawling with humans and Autobots. I cannot enter directly. Laser beak, eject. to play as Laserbeak. Soundwave's little drone, pet, whatever you want to call it. Now this version's, you know, Michael Bay's version of Laserbeak is way different. It kind of looks like a vulture. <laughs> So basically what Soundwave is saying is that we can duplicate certain items. So for example, this thing. While hidden in your new form, you may target and stun multiple enemies. Now target and stun your enemy. Fire at will. Alright, firing. Oh, 
careful now. So basically, like, what they're trying to tell you is <clears throat> find certain objects in a room, take in the form of it, then leave the form, and you have double damage for a brief, short period of time. But you know what? That's one way of clearing out enemies. But yeah, this is it. Oh, too late now. They spotted me. But that's fine, because I can run you. Oh, what's wrong? Can't move? Too bad. Stupid loading screens. Laser beak. My sensors indicate you have entered a facility that connects with the Sector 7 passageways. Their security protocols will no longer hinder the data stream. Scan everything. Alright. Access data points to learn about the facility. Okay. We'll avoid this laser trip. There we go. Alright. What do we got? Journal 545. It's been getting more difficult to work on the mech tech with some of the seismic activity lately. Those volcanic stabilizers need to be monitored more closely. Volcanic instability? Hmm. Sounds like this base is not secure as they claim. Or stable. Oh, what? Oh, crap. Ambush! Nice try. Oh, easy. Uh. <laughs> Channel 420. Worked in the control room on one of the volcanic stabilizers today. Smart bit of architecture putting the controls on the second floor. Using the superheat generated from the volcano will save a lot of time and energy building the alloys we need. But if those computers have a serious hiccup, we're all swimming in lava. Hmm, is that so? Drones. So this place is not secure, as they said as I said earlier. If we, I have a feeling, if we destroy these stabilizers, then the facility will destroy itself and be swimming in lava. Oh, what? What was that? Ah, oh, freaking lasers! Damn. I thought I would make it through there, but it just activated the last second as soon as I made it through. Oh no, I'm not falling for your trick again. Go, go, go. Oh. Jeez, I didn't think that laser would kill me in one sh- Like. Damn. Oh boy, we got a lot of Autobot guards. Alright, let's interact. Alright, oh, okay, now we have to destroy all these Autobots. Oh boy. Oh! Alright, got one. Hold still, buddy. Nice 
And you guys suck at aiming. Come on, guys. I'm right here. What's wrong? Can't hit me? Hold still. Ram. Yeah. Seriously, what's with all the loading screens? I never encountered this many loading screens before. Journal 451. Based on my analysis of the volcanic activity here, if just three of the stabilizers are taken offline, the magma chamber would swiftly build to an eruption. Everything would be destroyed. Let's hope that never happens. Yes, let's hope that never happens. <laughs> so I was right. If we do destroy those stabilizers, then this facility will be, like, full of lava. That would suck. All their hard work, gone. I'm pretty sure this place costs billions of dollars, too. Want some? Oh. Hold still. What? What was that? Did he just punch me? Ah, oh, are you kidding me? That sucks. Ah, oh, damn. I was thinking of any video at that moment when I died, but I thought, you know, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, you know, expose the second stabilizer, and then I'll end it right there. Because I will continue on because I want to make, but unfortunately, I want to make these videos 20 minutes, 25 minutes long if I can. So that's why I'm probably gonna end it as soon as I, you know, destabilize. Reactor. Alright, so I think I might end it right here, guys. Like I said, we'll continue longer, but I want to make these episodes 20 to 25 minutes long. Oh. Oh, I thought they were. More Autobots, but nope. I guess not. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And next time, we shall continue making our way to stabilizing the three actors for Soundwave. And then, hopefully, we'll destroy this facility and gather the information we require. So it's been Hesitated Cobra here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Also, Happy Halloween, everybody, and... Like I said earlier in the video, let me know in the comment section of, you know, what you're going to be for Halloween and if you're going to trick or treat or not. Let me know, guys. Be quite interested to learn. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.